Larissa, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be upcycling some of my old dollar store ornaments. I used to love silver and I basically bought all the silver ornaments my Dollar Tree had. But it doesn't go with my current aesthetic anymore. So what I'm gonna do is upcycle them, make them look designer worthy and make them match my current decor because i mean we change right we change in fact i change so often that i just finished my christmas tree and i already want to redecorate it because it's not giving it anymore i don't like it anymore but that's another video so let's go let's get started for this first diy i actually had to go and buy some stuff i got three of those bells actually i got four and i spray painted them black including the inside because they were a little too shiny too goldish for me and i only did a light layer it doesn't matter if it has like imperfections because we're gonna be covering it we are gonna get our workout rubbing and buffing it out with this rub and buff i absolutely love rub and buff i've been using it so much and honestly a little goes a long way i've had this little tube for a long time i tested out a few different techniques like just dabbing and then buffing it out like this and i also tried another way which showed more of the brush strokes and then in another one i tried to be like just rub a lot and buff it out very 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 very, very aggressively <laughs> which gave me more of a gold bell instead of more of that like blackish darker you're gonna see the results here in a minute but the point is when you're working with rub and buff you want to work in layers because it dries immediately so if you put a bunch in one spot that's not coming out and let me just show you how they came out this one it was the one that i had more of the strokes showing up and then this one was the one that i dabbed a little bit and this one i just got my work out because i buffed it out the most that i could and that's why it's golder i don't know if that's a word more gold i guess anyway so one option that i did with this was i actually put one of those mini bells if you have been watching me you know i've been obsessed with those mini bells so i put one inside so it would be like doing the real noise of a bell and i basically just tied it and then put some hot glue to secure it and then to hide that little you know hole that it comes with i just went ahead with this rope and i just went all the way around and then with the thicker rope of this same rope I, I what is the name of this rope i have to look it up but i had a piece left over from my wreath that i made with those mini bells so i made a little handle for it and you can use it just as a decoration on top of a book coffee table and also you can use it on your door i put it on my door but it was too noisy so i just moved it back to the table every time someone would open the door that thing would be like... <laughs> it was too much but anyways it's cute though and you can also use it just as an ornament itself but it doesn't stop there i actually also made this uh i don't know three piece one that i just put on my garland and the only difference is basically that i used a velvet ribbon for it and yes i basically used all my ribbon for this one so i just made the little handle and then i went over it to cover and it had that little hole so i just cut a little piece of it and just hot glued it to cover it up and then i hot glued all of those little handles together went over it with the same ribbon and made like a big handle i don't know if it makes sense i hope it makes sense and then i made the same thing with the little bells because again obsessed with the mini bells and i just think it looks fabulous for the second DIY, I had those Dollar Tree ornaments, which then later I discovered that two of them were actually thrifted because this does not happen to Dollar Tree ornaments. But anyways, I spray painted them black and then I wanted the little cap to look a little vintage. So I had this hammered copper spray, which didn't quite work. So I went ahead and I spray painted them black first and then I went on top with that hammered copper and it looked so, so good that I actually decided to spray paint one of the ornaments that I had that is the same one to see if it would 
look any different at the same time that i was doing this project i was actually doing another one which used water and vinegar so i was like what if i just spray this and before letting the spray paint dry i sprayed a little bit of the water and vinegar and after they were all dry i just rubbed a little bit of the rubbing buff and this is how they ended up looking this middle one is the one that i sprayed the water and vinegar and i just love the little texture that it gave this was such an easy and inexpensive way to just upcycle some of my old ornaments. For the third DIY, I used some water, glue, and tissue paper. I didn't have tissue paper, so I just used some napkins, which will probably do the same. Now, I do warn you, I used way too much glue and water. You don't need that much. I suggest you just put your glue and then put your water so that you don't have this amount like me. I didn't even use half of it. You're gonna cut out your napkin or tissue paper and I just placed the paper on the ornament and then I put the water and glue on top of it so it wouldn't be too like crumpled together. I did start with the knife but then I gave up because we don't have patience here. So I just went with my fingers and that was way faster. For one of them, I made a mixture of painting baking soda and I just dabbed it using a sponge. And to give some dimension, I dabbed some white, black and gray. And while that was drying, I made another one, but this time I added some black paint to the glue before gluing it to the ornament. And then once both were dry, I just rubbed some rubbing buff. And this is just another way of using rubbing buff. You can put it in a Ziploc bag. It is less messy and faster, but I do feel like it uses way more product. And here's how they turned out. I absolutely love them i love the texture i love how much character it has i left one of them plain and i also kind of aged the little top i was gonna finish here but let me show you just another one because this one is super super simple i had this from dollar tree as well and i just removed those little extra things and the glitter is super easy to just rub it off i suggest you just leave it on like warm water for a little bit and then it comes just right off after it was all clean i spray painted it with this and i actually also used a little bit of the hammered copper then i just put this rope and he was feeling naked so i gave him some little bells just a little color because you know the obsession is real and i love how simple and cute it looks it was super easy to transform it and make it match my aesthetic and that is it for the video today i hope you enjoyed that you were able to get some inspiration if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i'll be posting way more content i have so many more to share with you so i'll see you on my next video Thank you.